from the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky. Those of you as far west as Jackson, those of you as far east as McMinnville, welcome to Pharmacist On Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. And if you're watching this show, I am your community pharmacist, everyone. Welcome to the holiday edition, our December show. And so it uh, usually promises to be pretty interesting. Uh, so this is your one hour forum for you to call in with those burning questions that you never get to ask your doctors or your pharmacists because quite frankly, they are too busy. But for this hour, I have that time for you. So call in with those questions and those comments. Uh, rule number one, there are no silly questions. So chances are the question that you think is silly or mundane may actually wind up blessing someone else. So ask away. A uh, couple of housekeeping things uh, like we usually do. Actually before the first housekeeping things is if you see me make a strange face like this or a face like this, it's because I have my children in studio with me. So if they start to make noise and then I pause and I make that face, I gotta make the daddy face to to make them be quiet over there. I got Sean Pruitt Jr. and I have Jamise Sean Pruitt, my baby. Uh, so they're both here with me in the studio today. So uh, just kind of bear with us if they make a little noise over there. I uh, want to get into some birthday shout outs. Uh, first of all, uh, happy birthday to my stepfather, George Hardy. Um, wanted to also say happy birthday to my late sister, Stephanie Gabriel Hardy Stevens, and uh, to my good friend Dorothea Johnson Campbell all the way out there in Dallas, Texas. So uh, happy birthday to all of you. I wanted to get into some condolences. Um, uh, really, uh, a really good friend of the pharmacy, Miss Latasha Williams, passed away suddenly uh, in November and a long time friend of the pharmacy, one of my first since 2012, uh, brought a number of family members and friends to the pharmacy. So really sorry to see her go at, uh, at such an early age. Uh, so Latasha, we're praying for you and uh, Miss Williams, Miss Carolyn, we're praying for you all too. Uh, let's see, um, probably big in the news, uh, everyone is talking about the, the drug recalls. So I did want to mention this a little bit to you all for those of you who are taking uh, the drug combination of amlodipine slash valsartan. Valsartan by itself, Losartan by itself, Ibersartan by itself, or if it's uh, amlodipine, Valsartan, and hydrochlorothiazide. Uh, we had a drug issue recalled uh, in um, early last month. So if you are taking the manufacturer's Mylan, M Y L A N, or Teva, T E V A, or Torrent, T O R R E N T, those manufacturers have been recovered, recalled, sorry. So the manufacturers that we use uh, is McLeod's, and so, so far, no issues with it. Uh, the, is the reason why they recalled it is they think that, that, that those um, batches have been contaminated with a substance called, uh, I think it's NDEA. It's a substance that you, is used to make rocket fuel, uh, and it's also been linked to uh, cancer, so it's a possible carcinogen. Uh, so it looks like some of the drugs were contaminated in the manufacturing process. Uh, through Mylan's process, Teba, and uh, a couple of other drug companies. Uh, so what you should do is contact your physician and certainly your pharmacy if you have one of these brands of amlodipine, uh, am, I'm sorry, amlodipine slash valsartan, not the amlodipine by itself. Uh, the main culprits are the, uh, the blood pressure medicines, valsartan, losartan, ibersartan. So if you have any drug combination with those, uh, then certainly uh, speak with your doctor and your pharmacist. It looks like we got a couple of calls, so we're gonna jump into those first. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call, I mean, we help you. Hi. Hi. How you doing there? You, you already addressed my question about the valsartan. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, yeah, that's the deal. If you don't have one of those manufacturers, then you should be in the clear. Well, I'm, I'm just hesitant about using it till it gets around to if it's the one that I'm taking. What, what's another medicine that's equal to Valsartan? Like, is Valsartan an ARB or beta blocker? These terms when you read that paperwork. Yes, ma'am. It is what an ARB, it's an angiotensin receptor blocker. <laughs> Ma'am? I'm just tired of the Valsartan scare. Yeah, yeah, so it looks like it may have affected multiple drugs in that family, of the ARB family. So it looks like, um, I don't think Olmosartan was affected, uh, so that is an alternative for you. Okay, so it is an ARB, so if I ask my doctor to put me on something different, it'll 
it'll be an R, but different type in R. Mm -hmm. So he could put you on the old Masartan. Okay. And it was not affected, at least to date, that it, it was not affected as part of the recall. Do you know the name of another arb that doesn't have sartan in it at all? No, ma'am. That is just going to be what they're named. Yeah, that's going to be the, the Oma Sartan, Mo Sartan, Ibra Sartan, Candace Sartan. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I don't know why somebody would put a rocket fuel substance in something that you're going to put in your body. I'm not sure if, yeah, if it was intentional. Money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. Marcus, welcome to Farm System Call. May we help you? Uh, I have two questions. Uh, I notice I have to ride when it get cold and rain like that. I be aching and pain. And I know is, is there anything I can take besides I be broken because it runs my blood pressure up. And another thing, my cholesterol is up a little bit. Anything I can take to help lower my cholesterol? Okay, good question. Yeah, we got a couple of things. So on the arthritis piece, uh, I would probably recommend you start now with our alkaline water to get yourself properly hydrated and uh, neutralizing the acid in those joints. Uh, the second thing that you can use is turmeric, T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C, which is a spice, and it is a, a powerful anti-inflammatory, and so we sell a ton of it uh, to people who are dealing with even bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the CBD oil, uh, is also a very good alternative. We have a number of people really respond to it as well, uh, the hemp oil. In terms of your cholesterol, you got you can go two routes. Uh, one, you can go beetroot juice. Beetroot juice will help lower your cholesterol. And actually, if you're also looking to lose a little weight, we have a product called Garcinia Cambogia, which also reduces your cholesterol. Uh, is it uh, you know, you sell any of that stuff? Or how we much do they call? We sell all of that stuff. Uh, so, just in the interest of time, give us a call at the pharmacy tomorrow. The producer's going to flash our information up. So, give us a call tomorrow and we'll go through the price list of everything with you. Okay, then. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Sandy, welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call. How may we help you? Hello, Sandy. Sandy going once? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm help you. Um, I'd like to know, do you know, know a Jack Lee Vitamin uh, uh, distributor? What was the question again, ma'am? Do you know of a Jack Lee Vitamin distributor? I do not. I haven't heard that name since the 80s. So, no, ma'am. Really? I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's up there with uh, Amway. And, uh, mm -hmm. and Herbalife and all those. No, I don't. Uh, that probably be worth Googling. So if any of you Shackley vitamin distributors are out there, uh, I guess well, we don't know how to reach you. Give me a call at the pharmacy. And uh, ma'am, just call me in about a week or so. And if uh, a Shackley distributor reaches me, then I'll have their information for you. Okay. Could I have your number, please, at your pharmacy? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you're going to have to, unfortunately, watch the entire show. The producer's going to flash it at the end. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thelma, welcome to Farm System Call. May we help you? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Pruitt? Yes, ma'am. How may we help you? Well, how are you, Dr. Pruitt? Good, how are you? Yes, I'm asking, uh, I wanted to know about your uh, Lydia Tankum's product. Yes, ma'am. You know, for ladies? Yes, ma'am. So, okay. Uh, I'd like to know uh, your opinion on the efficacy of them and if there is uh, anything that they would be contraindicated for, any reason we um, should not take them. Okay. Coincidentally, uh, I actually brought that here, and it's this product here. Uh, so Lydia Pinkham is... Uh, Probably okay. about a, a product that's uh, a couple of hundred years old, maybe. A lady named Lydia Estes Pinkham compounded this because uh, she was embarrassed to talk to her doctor about her menopausal symptoms. So she compounded about, gee, probably eight to ten different things together, black cohosh being one of them. And uh, this stuff has been sold for, for like I said, yeah, 
for maybe a couple of centuries. Uh, I came about it, uh, some some older or seasoned ladies came in the pharmacy asking me about it. And uh, of course, if you ask me, I'll carry it. And so we've been selling quite a bit of this and according to the people who buy it, this stuff works very well, particularly in terms of um, the, uh, the I guess the moodiness, the the sweating, the hot mm -hmm. flashes, and so it it is uh, in terms of its efficacy. I've got number of great reviews on Lydia Pinkham. So for those of you who have heavy menstrual cycles, uh, who are perimenopausal or menopausal, then Lydia Pinkham is something that you'll want to check out. All right. Well, thank you very much, Doctor Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. You're quite welcome. Have a good night. Yes, ma'am. You too. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, bye -bye. Mick, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me we help you. Hello, Mick. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Hey, uh, so uh, I just tuned in, and um, you know, I heard that you were talking about CBD oil. Yes, sir. And uh, I just recently heard about that myself. Because I mean, everybody's talking, everybody's going on about it. You know how how beneficial it is, like like you were saying, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've uh, we've sold a ton of it. We've been selling it right at a year uh, now, and so it's changed a lot of lives for many of our patients. Awesome. Well, I had two questions in, in relationship to that. So one of them was, what do you think about the, the full-spectrum CBD as compared to, you know, the, the non-full-spectrum version? And then also, do you think that CBD has, like, a, a positive effect in relation to diabetes? Okay. Uh, first, that that question, I was just going to have a whole show on that, full spectrum versus CBD, and I oh, still okay. may, but that was a, a tremendous question because a lot of people don't understand. CBD is one component of cannabis. Full spectrum hemp oil has everything in it. So cannabis itself has about 100 plus different compounds, CBD being the one most medically beneficial, uh, but the full spectrum contains the other cannabinoids, which also have health benefits too, uh, outside of uh, with THC or without. So full spectrum is probably more encompassing in terms of the benefits that you will get. Uh, CBD being more concentrated could probably help out more so with the pain, uh, but without you know the risk of having any THC. So a very good question. In fact, I'll probably do a show just explaining the, the, the clinical differences between the two, both great products, but that full spectrum has everything. CBD is the predominant ingredient in cannabis that has the most health benefits. So in short. Mm -hmm. Excellent, well I appreciate your help. And uh, can, uh, can I do a quick shout out? Yeah, yeah, go ahead man. Excellent. Uh, just a shout out to the uh, Nashville CBD users uh, group on Facebook. So, you know, we've kind of been talking about okay. uh, using CBD out there. So, you know, be, uh, anybody interested, you know, we're, we love talking about it. So. Okay. Well, like the Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy page so everybody will know who you are. The Facebook page. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it's, it's, a, it's just a group on uh, Facebook. Just search, uh, I think it's just uh, Nashville CBD oil users. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, thank you for your call, sir. All right. Well, thank you and great work. Thank you. Bye. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All righty. Okay. Let's see who we got here. A lot of calls trying to keep up with everybody. Brenda, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. May we help you? Uh, yes. My name is Brenda. Yes, ma'am. How can we help you today? Okay. I was calling about a while ago. The doctor said something about turmeric. Yes, ma'am. Um, joints and stuff like that, arthritis. Yes, ma'am. What doses does he recommend on that, and where do you get it from? So you get it at Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, the pharmacy choice for the uninsured. And the product that we carry is turmeric with bioparine, which is black pepper, because black pepper helps you absorb turmeric better. But not only that, it improves how well turmeric works. So this uh -huh. product is about, I think, 600 milligrams for each capsule. So what I do uh -huh. is I take two of these in the morning or two before bed or like two before I work out to decrease the soreness. So I would just take two at a time, so that would be about 1,200 milligrams, I would assume. Okay, and then where do you say I get it from? Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy. Discount Pharmacy? Uh-huh, Dickerson Road, 8011 Dickerson Road. 
eighty levels in Dickerson Road. Uh huh. Who is okay. this guy from? Because I've been having pain in my back. I got uh, uh, arthritis in my back. Uh huh. And I was wondering where that probably helped us from. It would help you, and maybe even this hemp cream, the hemp lotion that we have. So if you're having pain in one area, I mean, we give free samples of this. So people, if you're hurting, come by the pharmacy. Uh, we let everybody get a sample of the hemp cream just to see how well it works. Because I know we have a lot of doubting Thomases out there. You just come by and get okay. a, a sample of the cream and let us uh, try it on your back and see how quickly it works for you. Most people, it works well within five minutes. So this is okay, not something so you that you said 811 Dixon Road. And what are your hours that you open? Nine to six generally through the week. Uh, Saturday we're closed and Sunday 12 to four. Yeah, but you can just, uh, if you Google us, it'll take you to our website with our hours and everything, and it'll give you directions as well. Okay, and it's mm -hmm. called Pharmacy what? Discount Pharmacy? Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy. Pruitt's. P-R-U-I-T-T? Yes, uh-huh, Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy. If you just wait till the end of the show, the producer will flash the information for you. Okay, then. Yes, ma'am. And you said you, when you come there, you all put the uh, hemp on the back. Yeah, yeah, come get a sample of the hemp cream. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then. I probably come on and do that then. What? And you close on Saturdays. I'll probably try to come Sunday then. Okay, we'll thank you. you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh-huh, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, you all hang in there. We're up on our first break. We will be right back.